I'm not interested in the slap in the face, I'm more interested in the whisper in the ear. The everyday made quite, quite unsettling. Not that it's overly unpleasant, that it, it's more, perhaps more melancholic than upsetting. I don't like not having my hands on the work I make. With something like this, the process is, is effectively what's communicating all of the, the meaning. Obviously, there's this kind of mystery to the situation. You know, it's like, well, who's been doing this mummifying and <laughs> what's it saying? You could almost see the piece as, as, a, as, a, as a meditation of how things used to be or how things should have been or how it didn't quite turn out right. This feels really wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to love the Chapmans, man. I'm a great admirer. I'm probably a, a little bit more uh, polite than the Chapmans. The angle of a hand or, or just simply the placement of, of the additional pieces, all of that will impact on how it, how it reads. I had one woman at a show come up to me and say, were you abused as a child? I said, well, no, I had a very happy childhood, thank you. It's just my observations of, of what are hopefully reasonably universal experiences. You'll be able to see the details and kind of move around and bend down and look at things. The mother is very clearly mother, but um, you lose a lot of the detail obviously from the binding. Once we take her up to a D cup, she'll be all right, I think. I want it to have a sense of attractive calm. I'm not sure whether you'd, you'd say it, whether I'd use the word beauty. We'll see. Might just fall flat on my face, eh? <laughs>